In this video, I will be showing you how to check and repair your model scan in MeshMixer by using the Analysis tool and then Inspector. So let's import our very first model, upper number one, hold, drag and drop directly into the MeshMixer 3D scene window. On the left panel, click on Analysis and then click on Inspector. This will bring a number of colored spheres pointing directly to any whole open boundaries or pink floaters. On the top left, you will notice that you have three options for what type of hole fill. The minimal fill will fill the hole with the minimum number of mesh triangles. The flat fill will create a flat surface patch and the smooth fill will attempt to blend between all of the surrounding surfaces. The Auto Repair All tab will automatically attempt to patch every hole using whichever one of the fill modes you have selected. There can be some mixed results with dealing with very large blue or red open boundaries such as this one. Sometimes the bottom can be very uneven. It would be advisable to perhaps trim uneven portions of your model and adding a base at the bottom. By clicking on each of the corresponding spheres one by one, holes can be filled in and rogue floaters can be deleted. Let's click on all of our pink floaters and we do not have a hole, we just have one open blue boundary and this boundary is very uneven so we will clean up the model. There are some sections here that Inspector did not pick up at all so we can delete these using the Select tool. So at this point let's just click Done and move directly to our select tool. So we can either paint areas that we want deleted. I can paint them orange, go to edit and discard. Or I can also, I have to click select again, I can also click and do the fence mode in order to select the areas I want to delete go back to edit and discard. And I am going to click on, on select again and I'm going to paint this whole area. Move to edit and discard. Let's tidy up the edges around this model. So click on select and then I'm going to use my fence method and just click. And then I'm going to go to modify, smooth boundary, accept, and then edit and discard. Click select again, and again we're going to use our fence method. Modify, smooth boundary, Accept, Edit, Discard. And we can do the rest right here again. So select and then Edit or Modify Smooth Boundary accept, 
edit, discard. So we can have a look at this. This looks pretty good. We do have a floater, but let's fix that in analysis. So let's go back to analysis, inspector. There's our floater. We can click on it to delete it. We can click on done and now we can export this and it will be fine because the outer surface is watertight. So let's go through the process of putting a base on this model. Let's just go to select. I'm going to double click on my model. I'm going to go to edit. Click on the extrude button. And now we have some settings that we have to look at on the, the top left. So for the offset, we have a slider. This has to be a negative value, so we're moving it toward the left. And sometimes we have to have um, this setting almost right to the end to get past the palatal area. So I have it at 18. Let's see if we can do a little bit less. So it's at 15. Now for the end type, we have to open this up and select the flat. This will give us a flat end base. So let's click on accept. That's good. And then click on clear selection. And now we have our, our based model. So if we go back to analysis, just to double check with inspector, we can click on it and we definitely do have a watertight model. Click on done and now you can click on file, export, and then export your based model in the SDL binary format and click on save. Let's drag our upper two into the 3D scene window. Click on analysis and inspector and we have a lot of pins. Let's deal with them one at a time. Click on the smooth fill and let's click on each pin one at a time. And as usual, we'll leave the last open boundary bottom one untouched. So let's clean up some of the edges around this model. So we're going to click done. We're going to go to select. And we're going to simply draw our line. and I can paint certain areas. Press down on your control key to erase. And we can go to edit and discard. And then click on select. Discard. Okay, that's good. Let's check with an analysis inspector. And we have one little floater.
and let's check again. There we go. So we have one blue open boundary all around. Done. Let's go to select, double click our model, go to edit, extrude, and then we have a negative offset value. And then we can put flat for our end type. Oh, I'm not really liking that. Let's go a little bit more to the negative side. There we go. So this is clear. It's negative 14, except clear selection and we have based our model. So now we can go to export and save our model in the SDL binary format. I'd like to show you upper number three, so let's drag and drop it into the 3D scene window. So as you can see, this model is already based, but we can reduce it. There's no need to have a model so big. Um, so let's click on analysis and inspector, and you can actually see that we have a lot of floaters and some holes. For now, just let's click on done, and I am going to click on shaders. I'm going to drag and drop this little orb here that will make our model see-through. So we have a lot of blue speckles here which indicate holes. They are kind of strange holes. They're, they look all kind of twisted around. And there's another one here. Now this is enough to cause some difficulty with designing. Um, and this case, I did have issues. I wasn't able to to design my case with it until I fixed these holes. So let's click on the orb close to the plus sign and click and drag to bring our solid model back. Back to Inspector. And for our hole fill mode, I like to use Smooth. So let's eliminate one issue at a time by clicking on the pin. Get rid of some floaters. And we don't need those floaters at all. And so I am done. And I see this issue right here. It's even a different color as well. So since it's off to the side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Select, make my ball small. I'm just going to color this area. And I'm actually just going to go to Edit and discard it. So now I have a hole here. If I go back to Analysis, Inspector, make sure that I have my Smooth Fill mode. And click my pen. Done. So let's click on Inspector again. So I have a watertight model at this point, which is perfect. So click on Done. So, I would go to reduce the, the size of the model right now. So go to Edit and go to uh, Plane Cut. Now, the portion, once you cut this by accepting, the portion that will be left over is where this blue arrow is pointing to. And this part will be erased. You can reverse this by clicking on this tab here. And now this side will be preserved. 
but you can also drag and draw your line. Let's make it a bit shorter. And I will just accept. So this is a neater model for us to work with. So now you can go to File, Export, and save your file in the STL binary format. If you would like to change the background of the 3D scene window, click on your space bar on your keyboard, and you'll have this window up here. Click on the gray square, and you can select whichever color you would like. You can add it to the custom colors and press OK. So I like this blue one here that I saved. I'm going to click on it, say OK, and then click anywhere in the background. So now I have a blue background.